actually been acknowledging that President Trump was unusually restrained in speaking respectfully about Christine Blasey Ford and her allegations of sexual assault when she was 15 until he unloaded at a rally. What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. What the president did last night was just sickening. Maybe we should only be surprised that it took him so long to do it. The media is saying that Trump's comments about Ford were a uh, mockery or an attack are the same media who thought Matt Damon's ridicule of Kavanaugh was sparkling and brilliant and daring. Now, we don't know if President Trump thinks it's useful to ridicule a woman claiming she was sexually assaulted or if he just did it because he thought it was fun. But let's take a moment to reflect that the President of the United States believes it's appropriate. There appears to be no bottom. You're mean. You're attacking victims. You don't have any empathy. No. He's making a series of common sense conclusions about Ford's very shaky claims and shifting accounts.